So the way we're going to fit this into a linear list is as this diagram illustrates. So we're going to spend a little time here. So what I've drawn is the original tree we're talking about, binary tree, and these are the unused levels. And we're going to make a list in memory, which is just a, a simple array. And it's, it has indexes It's going from 0 up to 10. Uh, and when we actually implement it, since we're using Python list, it will only go up to as many uh, nodes as we have in the array. Uh, notice though we put the very first node in, in index level 1 and this is a trick so that in our code we just we just have simpler expressions. Um, so what we do is this first uh, node here is unused and uh, so we can store anything and then when we actually create it we're just going to put a 0 in there but it could have this it could have a none whatever you want because we're not going to use this element of the list. So our actual tree is stored here now the way we store it is we take the first level and lay it out and then we put the second level nodes to the right of it so you'll see that here's the two nodes in the second level and then we put the third level to the right of that so here's the third level the four nodes in that and so on so if we're going to put the next level in we put that in and if we're going to put more levels we would just make the list longer and stick them in so you can see by by taking our three-dimensional structure and slicing it up into levels we can lay it out from left to right in the list. And we're going to point out some things. If you uh, look at going down a level, uh, well first of all I've labeled in blue here the index numbers of where these values are stored. So inside the node this is the value, the key that's stored in the node and then the blue numbers here are the index in this list up here. So the root, if you go down the root here from 1 to 2 to the left child, it doubles. It goes from 1 to 2. And if you look at the left child of 9, it doubles to 4. And if you look at the left child of, of 4, it goes to 8. So you'll see right away that if you're on any parent, you can double the node number to get to the left child. And here's a parent over here, and you double the three, you get to the left child. Now, another interesting thing you'll see is all the right childs are odd. See, nine, five, seven, so all the right childs, three, all the right childs of odd. And because of how do we lay these, lay, uh, these levels uh, out directly in the tree, the right child of any parent will be one more than the left child. So we've made some formulas here on this diagram. Uh, so these are the formulas we're going to use and we'll refer to them as we start to do our code. So if you have the index number of any parent, you can find the left child by multiplying it by 2. If, you're, uh, if you want the right child of a parent, P, you multiply it by 2 and add 1. So this is a formula for getting the left child and right child. If you add a child node, all you have to do is do divide by 2 and using integer division. So in Python you would use c slash slash 2 and you get the the index number of the parent. So you, it's easy to see for the left childs. So you have 4 divided by 2 goes to the parent and 2 divided by 2 gets you 1 which goes to the parent. But for the right child if you take 5 and divide it by 2 uh, you're doing inter integer divide and that's how you get 2. So you'll see it also works for any right child. If you divide by 2, it points to the index number of the parent. Okay, now let's start to look at the implementation of this in code. So we're defining a class called binheap. And uh, we're going to initialize it. And when we initialize it, we're going to have two uh, instance variables for the objects. One will be a list called the heap list, and we're going to set it initially to this uh, one element we're not going to use. So we're just going to store zero. We could store none here instead. And we're also going to keep track of currently how many elements we have on the list. So uh, initially we're going to have zero elements in the binary tree, so we're going to store zero here. Now, when we insert a new item in the list, uh, we want to extend the list by one. So our first step is just to append um, the item onto the list. But we have to understand what order 
we want to put these items in order to help us out with uh, getting actually implementing a priority queue. So to maintain the order in the list so that we can implement a par priority queue, we have to have a special rule uh, that determines where things go in the list. You remember when we insert someone in a priority queue, we have to find the right place and line to put them. So it's the equivalent. We want a relationship in our three-dimensional binary heap structure uh, that's going to put them in a place that it's easy to implement priority queue. So this particular property is called the heap order property. Uh, we have to maintain a special order to be able to quickly in log n time always remove the smallest item from the list. So we're going to rely on the heap always meeting the heap order property. And the way that's stated, in a heap for every node x with parent p, the key in p, so the key in the parent, is smaller than or equal to the key in x. And x is the child of the parent. So another way of saying that is for every parent there are no children that are smaller than them. And if we look at our complete binary tree, you'll see for every parent, the parent is always smaller than its children, or equal to. So in this case, we have no uh, nodes that are actually equal to each other, so you don't see that case. Uh, so what you see is, as you go up toward the root, the, the values stored in the keys get smaller. So you can see that if you want the smallest, it's always the root. And if you look at the two nodes below it, they're, always, they're going to be two subtrees where the root is smaller than the, the parent above it. And if you look at the subtrees here, everything in this subtree will be bigger than the, its parent. Uh, so that's the heap order property. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how do we actually insert a new node and how do we maintain this property.